Well, I'm really glad to be here tonight, not because it's the place to be on a Tuesday night, and uh, not because once a year this is the place to be, not because you get to see your old friends once again, you get to maybe meet somebody you didn't meet that you'd, you'd heard their work, and uh, not because we were in the studio and I'd do anything to get out of the studio, but because tonight I get to hear Ginger Baker play drums. Starting out in the 60s, uh, there were a hundred drummers in Dallas, and when Ginger Baker and the Cream came out, we all set our drums up like Ginger Baker. We all had two bass drums now, and we all had our tom-toms set sideways, and we all put two cymbals on each stand. And it worked out good. You went from club to club, and the set was just right. I mean, you could jam here, you could jam there, and it all worked out good. But what I'm trying to say is that he was the one drummer that, that we all wanted to be like. And we all studied his work and listened to the record. And how did he do that? How, how did he make that sound? It sounded, sometimes he would be playing a solo and it sounded like he was sawing on something. It was, I mean. And so when we get through introducing Cream and the, the gentleman tries to lead me back to my table over there, I'm not going. I'm going to be hiding over here behind an amplifier and I'm going to be watching Ginger Baker play drums. And he better do it like the records because I spent two, three, four hundred hours learning those songs just like those records and I'm going to know if he doesn't do it. Yeah, well this is going to be short. About the same time Frank was listening, uh, I was listening to Jack Bruce, I was much younger than Frank. And I uh, thought I could play the bass at the time until I heard Jack Bruce play, and I had to rethink that. And uh, the, the best compliment around then and now was uh, to be a musician's band. And every musician loved Cream, and they still do. That's all I got to say. There's only one name that rounds out this trio, and... Uh, as we all uh, discussed this backstage, it was a, a group of talented musicians that made up three guys that uh, expressed power. Uh, Eric Clapton being the third, following the two names that were previously mentioned, uh, created a sound that everybody in this room can relate to and uh, certainly uh, set the stage for uh, our outfit. And uh, it's with great pleasure that we uh, announce them Bad Bad Boys of That Good Thing, yeah. Cream. <laughs> Well, this is really fantastic. Uh, I can't tell you. Um, I come from Glasgow in Scotland, and it doesn't seem so far away now. I think, I think that must be what rock and roll is about. It brings people together. And if the three of us can be together again, anybody can be together again, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody, ever. Uh, but I'd mostly like to thank Amit, really, first of all, for, for believing in us enough to record us and so on. I'd like to thank Ginger for showing me some mad African rhythms that I, I can't get over. And Eric for clearing my mind and teaching me the purity of the blues and uh, the honesty of it. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. I have to be honest and say that until very recently, I just didn't believe in this institution at all. Um, I don't believe in institutions, I suppose. But, and it seemed to me that rock and roll should never be respectable. You see? And I was... Uh, <laughs> and then a friend of mine, not so long ago, Robbie Robertson, pointed out to me that um, minor and major miracles take place in here. And uh, it deeply moved me. And, it, and uh, I looked at this from a different point of view and I saw that a lot could be gained by coming here tonight, and uh, a lot has been gained. Uh, I've been reunited with two people that I love very dearly. It's very moving. And yesterday... <laughs> yesterday we played together for the first time in 25 years. It was pretty amazing. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And we're going to play again in a little while. And I don't know how it'll be, but as Ginger says, or as I say to Ginger, apparently, uh, whatever you do, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the last time, I actually, the three of us were together, we were on acid down at my house. <laughs> and this, this drug dealer came round the corner. We were in the garden. This drug dealer that owed me money or drugs or something came round the corner and he stopped about 30 feet away, and he couldn't get any closer. He just, it was like a, a wall, like a force field. And that, <laughs> that kind of, uh, it, that symbolizes to me what happens when the three of us to get together, and uh, it can be good or bad. You never know. But I'm very, very grateful to be here tonight, and uh, I want to thank Armit too, and I want to thank Tom Dowd, and I want to thank Roger Forrester. And I want to thank all of you for making this possible. God bless you all and thank you. Yeah. Um, I think everybody said everything, so I'll be very brief. Just thanks very much. It's nice to be here. Thank you. I think they should hit it, don't you? <laughs>